Number four, show by suitable net ionic equations that each of the following species can act as a Bronsted-Lowry acid, and then we have letter E. So in this case, we just have to show that H2PO4- can act as a Bronsted-Lowry acid via a net ionic equation. Well, Bronsted and Lowry were two scientists that basically came up with the same idea independently. So they stated that acids always donated a hydronium ion, aka a, a H+. We'll get into H pluses a lot more in this chapter. But if you have to donate an H+, plus, that means you had to have it in the first place. And especially if you see hydrogens in the front of a compound, it's going to be an acid. So that's kind of how you know that this can act as an acid. It has hydrogens in the front of the compound. Now, I wrote down a little schematic here, uh, how to turn an acid into a base by a net ionic reaction. So let's start it off. We have the acid, H2PO4 minus. And since it's a net ionic equation, we do have to include those states and all acids and bases are going to be aqueous, especially if you have a charge also that's aqueous as well. Now, since H2PO4 uh, minus is not on our list of six strong acids, which I highly recommend that you guys memorize, it's going to be in equilibrium. So we write the double arrow. And since acids will donate to hydrogen, that's the hydrogen that you see by itself. So if you see an H plus on the product side, that means that this acid gave up one of its hydrogens. Well, that's okay, because here I have two hydrogens. So the conjugate base that we're going to write is just everything else minus that one hydrogen. So instead of having two hydrogens, it now has one. And the PO4 didn't do anything, so it stays. But now we just need to find what the total charge is up here. Well, that's when we look at this. We lost one hydrogen, and because of that, you minus one from your original charge. Now in the upper right-hand corner, there was a charge of H2PO4 minus. It was a minus one. So when I come over here, I say, okay, I started with the minus one, and now I'm minusing one. Negative one minus one is negative two. And this is the conjugate base, so it's AQ as well. And now we're done. That's how you write that net ionic equation showing that H2PO4 minus is a Bronsted-Lowry acid. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And tell your friends. Tell your classmates that this cool YouTube channel exists. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys. All right? You guys have been so kind in the comments. And let's keep working hard. I believe in you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.